Hello everyone and welcome back. I just got back up here to the farmhouse. I've been down to work this week. I've been at the work camper. I've been up to the tent, back to the farmhouse, back down to the camper. It's been a busy week. And I just got up here and uh, I'll be here for the next few days. Just got done picking seven heads of broccoli out of the garden, filled up a five gallon bucket. I picked up a few sheets of plywood and some two by fours. I want to build some shelves up in that front garage to put some of that uh, the ceramic molds that we have in there. Now that that six-wheeler is pulled out, I have some room to move around, and Zach is almost done with the six-wheeler, so I thought I'd better get in there and get those built. I'll uh, probably do that tomorrow um, while I have room to, like I said, move around in there. It's 89 degrees out right now. We haven't had a drop of rain. It's just dry. I just turned the sprinkler back on in the garden here. As much as it's producing right now, this is the time when it needs a lot of water. I'm just getting things ready for tomorrow right now. I bought a new blade for my skill saw, circular saw, for those of you that need things said correctly. I bought these two pieces of metal right here and I need these for the finish mower that's hooked onto the back of the tractor. You can see these two pieces right here and they hook onto here so when I use my three point to lift this up it lifts it up evenly now it lifts it up like this and one of them I don't know if one of them was broke when I got it or not but one of them has been broke for quite a long time so it's just running on one and it broke last time when I was using it so I come out here and measure these and it's an inch and a half steel and it needed to be 30 I think 30 inches long and I got 36 but so I don't know if I have this big of a drill bit but I wasn't sure how big it was. Anyway, I'll make some new ones so I can lift this up and down correctly. Yeah, I don't know if I have a drill bit big enough. I might have one in my truck with all those bits. I like to uh, start that forklift up every week or so and let it run for a little bit. I have to, when uh, I when it was set, set at the uh, hobby farm house, every year the mice would get into the turbo and make a nest and uh, right in the pipe. So I just loosened the pipe and I put a vacuum cleaner in there and vacuum it out. You could always tell because when it would start, it would just have no power and blow black smoke. And then I would, you know, vacuum it all out and it'd be fine. But I've never, I've got that hose put back on the turbo, but I've never tightened it down. So I need to do that so it cleans up a little bit on how it's burning. No, I don't have a big enough bit here. I might have one up in that front garage. It seems to me I bought one for something on the tractor before, I can't remember, or something for in the house. I ordered a new muffler for this yesterday. It should be here in, I don't know, four or five days. It's pretty loud and it has been for a while. I had actually forgot that it had gotten loud because if you remember I had this up at the tent for a long time 
and I brought it up there uh, when I was going through my divorce, then brought it down to the hobby farmhouse and never really used it, and then a few things went wrong with it. Anyway, now that Zach has it fixed, and I fired it up and heard how loud it was, I ordered the new muffler. I measured everything up for the metal roof I'm going to put on here. We're going to do a charcoal gray. And I need to get that on because I'm going to lose that roof if I don't. And so I want to get that done before fall. Or I should say before fall ends. And then I'm looking at maybe putting a lean-to shed on the back of this thing that comes out 16 feet. I have to cut down that tree right there, but that's just a balsam, so that spruce budworm or whatever it's called will eventually kill that off anyway. I don't know that I'll have time for that, uh, but if I do, it would be nice because that's where I would park the tractor this winter. Slide that under, I'll have enough room if I do 16 feet out where I could actually slide a couple lawnmowers in here in the wintertime also to get them out of the garage. Yeah, more projects, more stuff to do before. I mean, it's 80 some degrees today you know snow is on the way and it won't be that long. I think I have four or five more weeks until the two new upper windows come in, one for this side and one for the other side. And I was all worried as you know, I mean I've literally put in thousands of windows in my life and I'm thinking man if I film this I'm gonna have to go get a building permit to do it so everything's legal, somebody's gonna turn me in so I won't be able to film putting the windows in. So then I called up the county, and where we live right here, I need no permit for nothing. If I decide to put an addition on the house, if I decide to build a whole nother house here, I would need to have zoning come out if it's an addition, just to make sure it's far enough away from the septic system or lot lines, which we have no problem with any lot lines here or anything. That's it. And then I can call them up when I'm done, and they'll come out just to verify that I didn't do the size differently. That's all I need, nothing else. So yeah, I can do put a new roof on here, windows, siding, addition, whatever. And I, I don't have to worry about the confines of all that, which wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if I put an addition on the house, legally then, I would have to right away put in a brand new furnace and everything to be able to keep up with the whole entire house, and which you, a person would want to do anyway. But who wants to add that? I don't know if you're going to do central air in it too. You're just looking at, I don't know, eight to $12,000 added onto that budget before you can get your final inspection. I won't have to worry about that. A person could almost do it in phases, which is much easier for me being in construction because you do it when you have the money and when you have the time and it seems like you don't have both at the same time. starting these shelves. It's supposed to be another really brutally hot day today so I thought I'll get out here and uh, get working on these. doing this with all this crap in the way but that's why I've been dreading doing this because I knew it would be quite a job <laughs> but this is where that stuff has to go
Well, it's almost 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna stop for lunch. I got this little section of shelves done. I can't tell you how badly that sucked. It really, getting into them tight little spots like that, oh my gosh, it's hot out. Those sets of shelves right there, what is there, four of them? I'm gonna take those and put those against this wall over here, and that's gonna give a lot of shelf space. Well, right now, it's time for lunch. I got all the shelves I'm gonna put in here in. Uh, I have all my duck hunting stuff right here, so until or if I decide to transfer this to, you know, like the workshop barn or whatever, uh, I do have one more section of this metal here that I could put in. Well, over 300 molds, all on shelves. Still got room for a couple hundred more. <laughs> Some of these are supposedly real expensive molds, like this one here is a large Christmas tree. I don't know, a lot of these Christmas ones, I guess, are... I don't know, I guess if you pour them and do everything, you can make money doing it. Okay everyone, well, I think we're gonna call it a day. I took a shower which was well needed. <laughs> and uh, they're still saying we might get some rain, I hope we do. Good morning everybody. Uh, it's total different weather today. <laughs> Windy out, it's much cooler. It's not even supposed to get out of the 60s today. I put up a tent video last night and it already had almost 40,000 views and I don't know, upper 200s in uh, comments, so I've just been in there doing comments. 
We're gonna make taco hot dish for lunch today. Melissa said she was in the mood for something that tastes kind of like tacos or something. I have a chuck roast that I thought out that I am going to uh, cut into pieces and put on the barbecue and cook that. Probably find something in the garden for a veggie. I decided to come out here and try to get maybe an hour in on clearing this trail. I still want to get back by that maple tree, which you can't see it here, but it's straight back in there. Just not really sure the best route to go because I still want this trail to continue straight and get out to that back part eventually. the trail cut from the four-wheeler where we parked and then coming through here and then I didn't want to get in, rid of any of these bigger trees here so I cut it around here I'll have to cut down this maple right here and then I come back here and then I just went straight down and then it gets kind of thick in there. I might have to curve a little bit here to get out into that back part, which I'm really not too worried about right now. I'm just trying to get back to here. You can see that right here is the fence line. 
But right now I'm trying to figure out, okay, if I come here, if there's a lot of snow and I come through here with the snowmobile, I'm gonna need to turn around. And I wanted to get towards that big maple, which is back here. I'm gonna cut this out so I can go straight through here. And then looking at this maple, she's on her last leg. I would say within a year or two, the best thing to do would be to cut it down for firewood. A lot of it's dying off. And it's just lived its life. I mean, that's a, that's a big tree. And I think I'm just gonna cut that trail here. It looks like this is pretty easy. I can get a wide swath here and then come around through here and it'll get a little narrow on that back side when I'm curving around. But then there's only, I think, two smaller trees, two or three that I'd have to cut out of there. Like if I take this one out, this maple and this birch, come through here, it gets a little bit narrow here, but then if I pull this maple out right here, I can come right up through here, and that hooks right back into the trail. I got everything done on the trail that I'm going to do today. I mean, not probably this whole year on that trail. I don't see any reason to go any farther back. But I do want to go out because there's a deer trail that goes right out in the swamp from the uh, trail that I just cleared. And I want to set this camera out there so we get one more view of what's running around out there. You can see right here where this deer trail just goes right through there and right out the back into the swamp. So. I thought this would be a good place to put a camera.
I'll go back to the farmhouse now and uh, we're blanching stuff and getting it in the freezer, stuff from the garden. Zucchini squash and uh, broccoli. Melissa blanches the broccoli and then uh, she, well first she washes it, cuts it up, blanches it for I think two minutes, one minute, I don't know, and then dumps it onto a, a thing where it can drain and then I put it onto the cookie sheet with the parchment paper then I bring it out here and put it into the freezer and usually by the time I get to the bottom tray at least with the squash that we did the other day the top one then is frozen solid and I can put it into a bag and then the next batch can come up and go back up on the top shelf. You need to announce yourself. I don't know who's coming in. So okay packages Broccoli takes a little bit longer to freeze than uh, zucchini squash did. So now I've got some in two freezers. And now I think she's going to do some zucchini. <laughs> Here's the stuff that we did the other day that's all frozen. We have a ton of it to do. Last night at this time, I think it's about 8.15, I think it was still 78 or 79 degrees out. It's chilly tonight. I think tonight we're going down into the 40s. Okay, let's Blueberries. Good morning, everybody. The last night I got down to 39 degrees and had the windows open in the house. <laughs> At four o'clock in the morning, I got up and it was like, man, it's cold. It was shutting windows. All this broccoli and the little bit of squash we did of this last night is all frozen now, so I can bag it. We eat a lot of frozen broccoli and cauliflower during the year. But we don't much care for frozen beans. I asked her if she wanted to freeze any of those yesterday because there's so many out there and she says no, she thinks she's going to can those instead. We have four freezers and we're purposely keeping this one empty right now just for doing this. We don't like using the chest freezers much, but for right now we've got them going. And then once we're not using this anymore, we can shut off one of the chest freezers and fill this one back up.
one little project done before winter. I put in that uh, sewer dump for an RV, but I pushed snow through here. And for sure, I would have hit that thing. I mean, you know, we get two, three feet of snow, and I know I would have hit and broke that, the sewer thing right off. So I wanted to put a post there, and then I got a little solar light, so at least it'll look kind of cute. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Hope we get some rain this week. See you guys on the next video.